Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to the 10 most important cities in the world, or what I actually searched was the most powerful cities in the world. I'm surprised, I've never actually done a video like this. I've done sort of videos similar, like the most sort of powerful cities in the US, or like the biggest cities in the US, but I've never done it on the whole world, which is kind of baffling to me, because I would have, I would have assumed that, I mean, because this is the kind of stuff that I do like just sort of look at in my own time, just a lot like sort of cities maybe not the most important or powerful cities but i just look into cities in different countries and i just find it interesting so the fact that i'm not gonna have done a reaction to this kind of thing is kind of confusing to me but we're here now we got it here but firstly i know this isn't going to be 100 percent. it's probably a lot of its opinions there's probably a, a lot of facts here and there but the whole sort of core of the video is going to be based on a lot of opinions from this guy i assume but um yeah i'm here for it still i'm still going to enjoy the video hopefully you're going to enjoy as well if I was to guess for five cities to be here, so that's hard because I mean, there's like historical cities like that have sort of influenced the world over time, but maybe don't have the influence now. But then there's sort of the cities now that have influence. And I'm thinking like London, because when you, it's weird, when people think of England, they think of London. <laughs> London is so much bigger and more powerful than all the other cities in the UK or in England, should I say. And I mean, yeah, London's definitely going to be there. London. Paris. I see. I don't know if Paris is like a historical one. It's it's got the most tourists, so I actually guess Paris will be there. Obviously, you've got New York. You've got um, Los Angeles has got to be here. Chicago. I don't know if Chicago would. Again, if it was influenced, maybe it would be because Chicago is obviously where skyscrapers came from, and now they're everywhere. And I don't know if that would be enough to put it in influence or what. But man, maybe not Chicago. Um, Moscow. You got Dubai. There's a few cities in China, maybe like Beijing, or there's a few others that I can't, I don't know their names of. Maybe Sydney? I don't know. I don't really know, to be honest. Um, Milan? There's a lot of cities, and I'm sure I'm going to be surprised by a lot as well, but I'm intrigued to see his reasoning behind which reasons, like, reasoning behind which reasons, his reasoning behind why the cities are where they are, and I mean, yeah, it's probably going to be controversial in some sense. People will disagree, people will agree. I don't know, but I'm just going to jump into it. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy. Quick shout out to my Instagram, my Twitter, links in the description for those. Same for Patreon, links all there for those interested, but let's jump into it, man. Hello. I know this guy. Is he on, a, is he on another channel? I know him. Simon Whistler, you're watching Top sure. 10's Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the top 10 most important cities in the world. New York, London, Paris, Munich. Nope, we're not talking about pop music. We're discussing something much more intriguing. What is the most important city in the world? Ever since Adam Smith wrote The Wealth of Nations, we've understood that sovereign states are where it's at, both economically and politically. Or have we? The 21st century has seen the world... How can I forget Tokyo? Tokyo's going to be there. Mumbai, Delhi. The most economically active cities overtake Maybe countries so cities. fast that nations are eating their dust. New York alone has an economy bigger than Canada. Osaka ranks higher than Switzerland. <laughs> Paris. Jeez, man, the, the stats about New York are just baffling to me, man. This could comfortably buy out South Africa and still have some Shanghai. spare change. After Seal. falling out of fashion, will Seal. city states once again be our future? Maybe, and we couldn't possibly know, but we think it is important enough that we're going to guide you through the 10 most important cities on the planet right now. Some are economic giants, others are centers of political influence that can change the direction of world events, to Brussels, and some maybe? are rising powers that will soon be striding across the global stage. Want to know where it's truly at in the 21st century? Well, move to one of these cities right now. Heading Number so 10, amazing. Moscow in Russia. Moscow. It wasn't supposed to be this way. At the end of the Cold War, capitalism had triumphed. America had won and Russia had lost. As the 20th century reached its conclusion, the world witnessed a Moscow that was losing influence and becoming a power of the past. It looks like the end of Russian dominance was finally over. Oh boy, were we ever wrong though. Fast forward to 2017 and Moscow is not only one of the biggest nations economically, it's also a political titan. That last part is key. While metropolitan Moscow currently has an economy bigger than the entire United Arab Emirates, which let's not forget includes Dubai, it's Moscow- Yo, what the fuck? 
That's nice. Who's returned geopolitical clout that Jeez. really earns it a place on this list? As the base of Russia's politicians and the home of the Kremlin, Moscow has benefited directly from Vladimir Putin's regional power grabs. Love him or loathe him, the bare-chested autocrat has certainly made his country important. Russia currently dominates the war in Syria, is running amok right along the EU's borders, and may have directly influenced the 2016 US election. But I remember that when, when the, those rumours were about... I don't know much about it, but I just remember when it was like they hacked into it or just some weird, weird stuff was going on between that. But... It's not nice. It's not pretty, but it's certainly it's an interesting conspiracy. Number nine. Lagos. I have heard a lot, to be fair. Isn't Lagos like booming right now? They're like building another part of Lagos that's going crazy because a lot of Lagos is like close to the water and the water like it's like low sea level. And the water constantly floods it. So they're building a whole new area for like the rich people, which is kind of sad, but I have seen a bit to do with Lagos, Lagos well, in Nigeria. The metropolitan population of Lagos is the largest on the entire African continent. Around 21 million souls call this dense, overcrowded, creaking megacity home. It's a place of slums and great high-rises of innovation and mind-numbing congestion, Jeez. of great gallery spaces and hideous street crime. It's also the future. Already the economic powerhouse of Africa's great cities, Lagos is projected to maintain its pole position far into the next half century. In other words, Lagos is where all of the companies and industries looking to do business in Africa will be headquartering over the next few decades, joining an exodus that is already putting the sprawling metropolis on the map. Add to that massive investment from the next global superpower, China, and you have a recipe for a city of vital importance. So given all of that, what's Lagos doing all the way up here at number nine? Well, there are a couple of reasons. One is that Nigeria's economy is actually faltering at the moment, lessening the city's global impact. The other is that even if it picks up again, Lagos's political importance still lags far behind most of the other cities on this list. Nigeria may be a big regional player, but it's relatively small on the world stage. And with the nation's political power concentrated in Abuya anyway, Lagos's significance is hugely muted. Number 8. Riyadh in Saudi Riyadh. Arabia. Saudi Arabia is the most important country in what? Is it the city that I'm thinking of? I don't know if it is. Riyadh. Where's the where like where where's like um the place where Muslims go to celebrate? Is it Riyadh? Oh no, I don't think it is. Because if it is that would make sense, obviously. I'd actually assume it assumed it to be higher. But I don't know if it is in the Middle East. In former times, that would have been met with a shrug from Europhiles and Americans. But recent events have shown us that the Middle East isn't just another backwater. It's a region with the power to destabilize the entire world and to affect political change as far away as the USA or Australia. But maybe it's Mecca. Now I think I've just had, I said absolutely something so stupid. But I mean, you look at these cities here, there's very big, well known cities. I mean, all of these cities Doha, Dubai, Abu Dhabi. Mecca, Riyadh, Kuwait City. See, I've heard about a lot of these cities, to be fair. Obviously, Baghdad for a lot of the wrong reasons. Australia. But... At the crux of all of this sits the Saudi capital of Riyadh. Home to nearly 7 million people, Riyadh is the center of power in the most powerful country in the Gulf. Saudi Arabia has influenced actions in Syria, Iran, and Yemen, all countries with the power to spark a gigantic war if they go south. It counts the USA, UK, Germany, and Japan among its stalwart allies. All important. Bro, that guy, he's controversial. He tried buying a Premier League football team. Didn't go through, but I know he's got a very suspect past. Stalwart allies, all important countries in their own right. No other country in the region has this much influence, not even Israel. On top of all of that, the Saudi Kingdom contains two of Islam's holiest sites, making it a focal point for the world's second largest religion. Add to that the incredible oil money, and you can see why What's Riyadh makes an appearance on our list. The trajectory of Saudi Arabia may be upward or downward in the future, but for now, its corridors of power in Riyadh are at the heart of events that are shaping the entire globe. Number seven, Singapore. Sing China and Japan Singapore. may be the big beasts of East Asia, but they're both highly industrialized nations with vast populations, especially in China's case. Yet tiny Singapore is still able to compete with both of them. With a population of only 5.5 million and little heavy industry to speak of, this city-state has managed to become a vital hub of Asian trade. With a roaring financial sector and a high quality of life, mighty Singapore is the city all other Asian cities want to be. What's remarkable about 
all of this is how differently it could have turned out. When Malaysia was formed in 1963, Singapore was merely one of 14 states making up the new country. When it was forcibly expelled in 1965, it didn't seem to be in a position to survive. One of only three city-states in existence, the others being Vatican City and the tiny San Marino, it would surely be crushed. But how times have changed. Today, Singapore's GDP per capita is five times higher than Malaysia's. It's more stable and wow. more important than Kuala Lumpur. In its corner of Asia, Singapore is truly where it's at. But that's not to say that everything in Singapore is rosy. Singapore's government is more authoritarian than it is democratic, and visitors often find it an expensive, soulless place. Still, when it comes to ranking important cities, there's no way we could possibly leave it out. Number six, Los Angeles, Los Angeles. USA. It's not the center of political power in America, and it's not the city with the biggest economy. That would be NYC, which you're going to hear about shortly. It's not even the capital of California, yet Greater LA has something no other city on Earth has. Something that most countries would kill for, let alone it's cities. Right. It really does. Yes, you guessed it, oh, that something is Hollywood. Hollywood's economy alone is a pretty impressive beast. It generates over $500 billion for the US every single year. But there are <laughs> other cities and industries that generate more, including the apps and startup companies developed in Silicon Valley and other parts of California. So well, what's the big deal with Hollywood? Well, that's all thanks to something known as soft power. Soft power is the use of stuff like movies, art and culture to generate a favorable impression of some place or some government. It's very true though, I've got a lot of friends and even my girlfriend, a lot of people in European countries that sort of, like they speak English in the countries but it's sort of the second language. When they learn it, they learn it through a lot of US films. So they learn US English, which is really surprising because I always just thought because England was closer, they would learn obviously English, British English or, it, you know what I'm saying. But no, they don't. A lot of people actually, I feel like everyone learns American English because of films and all these different things. And it's, nothing, it's something I didn't ever like factor in before. It kind of surprised me, but it does make sense. Again, through soft power. It sounds pretty nebulous, but it really does work. People across the entire world know a heck ton about America thanks purely to Hollywood. They respect yep. American actors, Very they aspire true. to American lifestyles, they buy American brands, all thanks to the movies. Politically and in terms Very of trade, cool. this makes LA invaluable to America, and not just America. Right now, China is investing heavily in Hollywood purely to buy some of that soft power that it couldn't hope to create on its own. And oh, wow. do you really think Beijing would be dumb enough to invest in something unimportant? Well, no, and us neither. Number five, Berlin. Berlin? I was thinking to say Berlin, I didn't know if it would be here or not. I know Berlin's like a really sort of, what's the word? Like a, it's a different city. There's a lot of culture there. It's a, it's a city that I'd hear a lot about, but I didn't know it would be here for important cities. And obviously I'm wrong. With a lot of history as well. But I'm intrigued to see why. I mean, I don't know much about Berlin. I just know it's got a lot of history and it's just, it's a very different city in a very good, I mean it in a good way, but it's just a very different city to a lot of other cities in the world. In Germany. It's no stretch to say that Berlin is home to the most powerful woman on the planet. Angela Merkel is not only the head of the Eurozone's largest economy and the fourth largest in the world, she's also the de facto head of the entire European project. And in the eyes of some, the current leader of the free world. Her Germany is the only EU country capable of standing up to Putin's Russia. It's one of the major powers all other major powers consult. All of this power is concentrated slap bang in the capital of Berlin. Forget Brussels, Berlin is the unofficial EU capital. Decisions Merkel's government takes influences the fate of the world's largest trading bloc far more than even those taken in the official home of the EU Parliament. If the EU was a single entity, it'd be the world's third largest country, both by population and economy. As by far the most influential city in such a powerful, not quite a nation, Berlin deserves to be noticed. On top of that, Berlin has a cultural clout that few other cities can match. For over a decade, it has been the unofficial global capital of art, taking up a mantle oh, that that's... London, Paris. What's the word that I'm looking for? Like it's got, I can't think of the fucking word, man. He's probably gonna say it. Like it's a lot like, again, art, it's like arty, but it's like, it's, I can't think. New York and Vienna have all passed on. Soft power, political power, and economic drive, it's tempting to say that Berlin is the most important city in the whole of Europe. 
Number four, Tokyo, Tokyo Japan. Of South Korea is higher, one actually. of the most vital economies in the world. It's the fourth biggest in Asia and just misses out on the top 10 globally. Its reach is enormous, its capital a true global hub. Okay, and with all of that in mind, let's have a look at Tokyo. The Japanese capital alone has such a stupendously vast economy that it equals the whole of South Korea. This, to put it on simple terms, is insane. Countries as important and as powerful as Australia, Canada, Spain, Indonesia, and Saudi Arabia have economies smaller than Tokyo. Even other major cities can't touch it. Metropolitan Tokyo has the biggest economy of any city on Earth. Not even New York can match it. And someone like London? Oh, forget it. Tokyo <laughs> leaves all of its rivals spitting dust in its wake, coughing and fuming at the sheer power of the Japanese capital. Nor is Tokyo's place on this list so Solely due to economic clout, Population it's also the well, second right. biggest metro area in world history, surpassed only by China's Pearl River Delta conglomeration. But while China's megalopolis is subservient to Beijing, Tokyo answers to no one. Number three, Beijing, Beijing. China. So I'm guessing London will be here, so Paris isn't here. Wow. <laughs> Fuck me. That's very surprising as well. Jeez. Beijing, right now, is where world history is being written. Though it only just breaks the top 10 cities in terms of size of its economy, falling behind even China's own Shanghai, its political importance is almost unparalleled. As the capital of China, Beijing will be the driver of the world's next great super- The air there is fucked though, isn't it? Ugh. I remember t t 2008 Olympics, bruh. I just know so much about the air quality there, it's just horrible. Maybe it's got better since, hopefully it has, but I just, yeah. I mean, you look at it, I mean, other, it may be fog, it may not actually be to do with the air, but from what I know, I'm assuming this is just a bad air as well. But I could be wrong, and I hope I am. For power. While America remains top dog, China is on the rise and shaping itself as the next leader of the free world. Even if it never surpasses the states, it will still dominate every single other country out there. This means Beijing will soon hold the same sort of sway over the world as Washington does now, or as London or Paris once did in the near past. This is where the politics of the 21st century will be forged, where decisions will be taken that will affect the lives of 7 billion other souls. It's the concentrated power of Rome or Constantinople at their height, the sort of power China hasn't seen for over two centuries. And it will be focused right here in the corridors of Beijing. Some would say China has already attained this coveted superpower status. And while that's up for debate, there is no denying that Beijing is at the heart of modern geopolitical life. Whether it soon starts to muscle all the other competitors out remains to be seen. Number two, New York City. New York second? So... In the USA. If New York were a nation, its GDP would comfortably put it within the top 20 countries on Earth. Every time I hear that, it fucking baffles me, man. It's so crazy. Of all other cities in the world, only Tokyo has more economic muscle than sprawling, venerable NYC. But while Tokyo may hold the economic and political cards, NYC has something else up its sleeve. The cultural capital and name recognition to make it one of the most influential cities on Earth. Perhaps the key here is its long history. After overtaking London following World War I, NYC transformed itself into the capitalist's capital. Think of skyscrapers and you'll probably think of those iconic skyscrapers in New York shooting up into the sky. Think of landmarks and the oh, Statue shit. of Liberty in the Empire State Building will probably enter your mind. And it's here that the American dream was born too. Ellis Island is a name that still sends shivers down the spine of many Americans. The great melting pot of mass migration that made America what it is today had its white hot center here in the beating heart of the nation. Then there's the sheer cultural clout on display. Go show anyone anywhere cultural in the world a picture clout. of NYC's downtown area and the- Bro, I love this picture so much. I love- what- what series? I was watching the Epstein <laughs> documentary the other day. Not a good thing to watch, but I remember this was in the background. This is like involved in the intro. <laughs> I don't know why I brought that up, but it was a terrible, terrible um, thing to happen. But yeah, I remember seeing this and that, so it just reminded me to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of this and then thinking of Epstein. Fuck They'll be sake. able to identify it. Now try repeating that trick beautiful. with any other city on our list and watch the blank stares that greet you. NYC is a city at the center of the modern world in a way no other city on earth can claim to be. With so maybe one exception. Number one. See, I knew London would be high. And again, this is all opinions. I, I, this may be like number seven for a lot of people, maybe even lower. But I guess he's going to have his reasons here and I'm interested to hear because I was thinking number three or something like that i was thinking it'd be like new york tokyo then probably london or maybe like a chinese city like shanghai or beijing london in the uk 
Yep, we did it. We selected London as the most important city in the entire world, and I promise it's not just because I'm British. In April of 2017, the influential World Economic Forum, WEF, ranked the planet cities according to magnetism, which they defined as the perceived power to attract creative people and businesses from across the globe and to mobilize their assets to boost economic, social, and environmental development. NYC, Tokyo, Singapore, and Berlin all made the top 10, but there was one clear winner. London beat the competition so bad that that it hurt. Britain's capital has it all. Cultural power, a world-striding financial center, oodles of history, tourist draws by the bucket load, tech innovation, cutting-edge research centers, the government of one of the UN's five permanent security council members, and an economy. Whenever I come to London, I'm literally always on this strip. There's a little Chinese restaurant place like down this street. I, get, I used to always get it when I was a kid, man. I used to always go on this. I never actually came down to this area, but when you look at it from this view, it is a it is a very beautiful city, man. I mean, I went to London recently and it's stressful, man. I'm not gonna lie, it's a stressful place to be, but economy that dwarfs that of most countries. It's here that music was born that shaped our world, where literature is written that still defines how we think, and decisions taken that shaped the fate of the largest empire the world has ever known. Do we really need to go on? We know that not everyone will agree with our assessment, and maybe we're being too optimistic. The shock of Brexit may see London's financial and cultural elite decamp, leaving the city poorer and less significant. But for now, London stands tall among the world's cities as our vote for the most important by far. Londoners, give yourself a pat on the back. Oh Everyone else, just head down to those comments and tell us how wrong we are. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed that video. Again, I know this is opinions, and like he said, it's just his opinion. It could be completely different. This is in 2017 as well, this is like four, four years ago, god damn. China will be the next leader of the free world, apparently free no longer means that what it was always meant. Now Albuquerque is the most important city, we will in movie tunes. I still think New York is just, it's just New York because of New York Stock Exchange. Whenever they sneeze the whole world tends to catch a cold. Yeah, the influence from the Stock Exchange itself is huge everywhere, so that's actually a very good point. I'll say Paris, Mumbai or DC instead of Lagos. Yeah, DC as well. I, I did mention Mumbai and Paris. Istanbul, yeah, true. Amsterdam, Mumbai, Shanghai, Paris. I'll be a joke to you. For Beijing, you don't you have to be free to be the leader of the free world? Isn't Monaco a city state as well? True. Isn't Hong Kong a city state as well? Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else with Hong Kong. That moment when a random city in Nigeria is more important than Moscow. <laughs> not a random city in. <laughs> it's not just a rat. I, I know Lagos is a huge, huge city. Lagos could have been the most developed city in Africa. Instead, we have a city full of slums. We can thank greedy politicians for that. I laughed when Lagos popped up, but stopped watching altogether when Riyadh made the list. <laughs> Eight five five Paris and Rome laughed in the yeah, in... whole of Europe. Number four. <laughs> Fuck. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one again a bit different. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I mean, I'm sure a lot of people aren't going to agree, but it's just here to see, really. But yeah, again, if you want more stuff like this, just in the comments in the future. But until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.